Hi guys, I'm Kronos and welcome back to The Walking Dead Season 2. Um, we're just about to start Episode 4 and uh, find out what the hell happened after uh, we got out of that uh, prison slash delivery camp. So uh, yeah, let's carry on and uh, find out what's next. Previously on The Walking Dead. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. <laughs> Fucker. No! No! Stop me! <laughs> Kenny! Kenny! When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. I can't tell you from one of them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Go on. You don't need to see this. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, that was brutal. We'll get to see if she survives or not, considering I took her arm off. You. You. Oh shit! Get bit elsewhere. You can't die. I won't let you die. You have to move. There's too many. Come on, babe. Kenny. She's dead, man. Leave her alone. She was bit. I had to do How it. Fucking dare you, Clementine. Hey. It isn't gonna go like this, Kenny. I won't be left alone again. We're gonna leave. We're, we're gonna get out of this. Kenny! I don't care what these fuckers are saying. You're gonna be fine. She's going to turn. You can't save no. her. Please, Kenny. No, no, no. Please. Uh, Paul don't fucking let Kenny. Kill you. She's gonna turn, man. You gotta let go. No. no. Oh, come on. Fuck it. Fuck it. He's gonna hit me, but I've got a. No. I've got no choice. Did him a favor. Oh fuck, I missed it. Oh shit. I guess that wasn't meant to happen, but whoops. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Never mind. Try again. Come on, Clem, get out of there. Rub in some more. Just keep fighting. I need to get out of there. 
Oh shit. You better not go in the lever, I'll you tell you now. Are you okay to keep moving? No other way out of this. Just gonna keep going. Ah! We can't clear our hands to the trees. Oh, maybe they're thinning out somewhere. Do you see any openings? Yeah, just go straight hole for much. There. Just, just go for it. Oh. Damn it! Go back, go back! Oh, really? Ah! Oh look! Jane! Jane! Thank God! Stop! Relax. You need to walk slowly. You'll be fine. I can't do this. You have to help us. <laughs> we can't come together like this. It's better if we spread out. You two will be fine. No! You don't understand! Just... Okay. Fine. I think we should spread out. We'll spread out. I can't run with the baby on my own. I said walk slow. You run, you die. Man, she means business. Damn it. We'll have to push through that cluster of walkers. There's so many. We'll make a cow catcher. A what? Just... We need... A what? You'll see. There. That one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. Who? You know about the zombie? Oh, she's on about like what they did in the Walking Dead series. Stay close. Where one of them would just fall walks. behind. I can't come back for you. Okay, so she's using it as a little pusher. <laughs> Somebody always seems to die in the beginning of a season. Or an episode, should I say. <coughs> and now Kenny, my long old friend, hates me because I killed his second girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. As if he didn't have enough trouble with the first one. Is everything alright? No, I'm not alright. But I'll be a lot better once we get with the others. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? It's been at least an hour since I saw any walkers. Carver's people should be keeping them busy for a while. That'd be lucky. I know I should feel glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, uh, we could have... 
I don't know. It worked. So it worked. We got out of there. Most of us. Look, I know that some of your people didn't make it, but Carver was crazy. Staying would have only prolonged the inevitable. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of yeah. course. We panicked. We were scared. The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No. Was, no, oh, that's, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Uh. Oh, shit. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Mm. Thanks to that fucking madman. Kenny knows what to do. Kenny might know what to do. He had a family. Let's hope he made it to the meetup point then. As long as you don't pop it before then. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just... Making conversation. It was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food. And, you know, other stuff. Guys, that baby is coming, like it or not. Fine. And then what? It's going to be helpless. And you can't protect it. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? <laughs> I don't need your pity. I want to know what happened to Krista's baby. You don't have the right... Jane! I mean, I mean it never mentioned it, did it? Shit, I didn't mean... Shit. I'm sorry about your sister. Damn it. <laughs> no music. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long, we were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides. Well, that's Kenny. How's Kenny? I tried to talk to Kenny, he flipped out on me. He started yelling. Scary shit. I know, he probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. I've been nervous to even go near him. What? You think he's gonna shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. I should yeah. go talk to him. This is my fault. Hey. You did what you thought was right. That's all anyone can do in that situation. Sarita, God, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. I hope he's talking about toponyms then. Hi, Kenny. Nah, uh, shit. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? What's wrong with Kenny? Why is Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. Damn. Kenny, I'm so sorry about Sarita. Sorry, huh? Well, that's nice of you, seeing as this was your fault in the first place. It wasn't her fault, she got bit. There was nothing I could do. Seeing how things turned out. I think I might have preferred if you do nothing. I tried to save her. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works! For the last time, just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. Damn. 
I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how'd it go? Not good. Kenny's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. That man's going through. At least you try. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water. It's getting damn cold. And we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands, too. Mm. What? Suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? Seeing you people floundering the minute things don't go according to plan has just got me on edge, all right? This was the meeting place. We should stay here and try to make it safe. Clementine's right. If we leave here, they'll never find us. Okay, fine. In the meantime, I'll take Clem and we can go look that way. See if we find him. Clem took good care of herself back at Carver's. I want her watching my back. If they're alive, they can't be far. We can find them, one way or the other. Thank you. Listen, Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know, but you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. <laughs> and now she's scaring everyone as if Kenny's gonna go batshit crazy and kill everyone. Look, I'm gonna level with you. I was just looking for an excuse to get out of there for a bit. And you should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. Well, then why'd we come out here? I wanted to talk to you, away from them. Oh, really? You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart. But I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't yeah. want to be here when they start, you know? Bad stuff, yeah. stuff happens to you when you're alone, too. But your odds are better. There's nobody to watch your back. And when something does happen, there's nobody there to help you. How much help is Kenny going to be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. And Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. Have you just kept to yourself this whole time? Of course not. But sometimes you gotta learn the hard way. I'm trying to save you that trouble. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Yep. <laughs> then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. Yep. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could've. Mm -hmm. What... what happened to your sister? <laughs> Seems we always want to talk about the end, don't we? I guess so. You know, being a big sister is, well, it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. Why would you even do that? What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer, we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. 
But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there, and I'd, I'd pretend we weren't sisters, just friends. <clears throat> yep. Supposed All right. To. Jackpot. All right, guys. I'll end this episode here just before it gets interesting. Um. Yeah, we'll find out what the hell they've just found um, in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoy watching so far, and I'll see you next time.